All right, guys, today you get to meet our new C8, but you also get to meet my wonderful girlfriend, Madison. This is the first time she's been on the channel, so please welcome her with love. We've been dating for over a year and a half, and it's finally time for you guys to meet her. Maddie's one of the nicest, most loving people I've ever met. She takes amazing care of myself and our two golden retrievers. Not to mention, she's one of the funniest people I've ever met. I think you guys are gonna love her. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. What's going on guys? We just landed in Kansas City, Missouri where our C8 is at my buddy, Justin Keith. You guys have seen him before. He's the owner of Streetcar Takeover, co-owner. And he has a shop here called Killer Performance and he picked up my C8 from the dealership last week so that it could be clear broad and ceramic coated. And we're going to his shop right now to pick it up, but he is on his way to get us. Also, more importantly, in today's video, you guys get to meet my wonderful girlfriend Maddie or Madison we go with the shorter version Maddie and uh, she's along on this trip I kind of had I was kind of hoping to do something more spectacular to introduce her to the channel but it just worked out better to do it naturally so hello Maddie hello. welcome are you nervous not at all good <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are gonna see Maddie for the next uh, couple of videos we're road tripping the C8 back to Tampa Florida here's Whoa. Justin Keith See that one? There it is. Almost drove by us. Dude, this thing looks sick. Wide body live. I, I told everybody, I was like, you've been wanting to buy this car from me, so it's probably going to make you mad. I'm picking you up. I know, but I can't buy it now. <laughs> I would do a big awesome. fat burnout leaving here, but I don't think we should. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's modded, right? Ported blower. Yeah, it makes 955 of the tire. Hell yeah. Brother, this thing. A unit. What you're probably wondering is why am I in Kansas City to get the C8? Well, Justin got two uh, spots to order two C8s, and so he called me and was like, "Hey, I'll give you one of my spots." And uh, it turns out I was hoping to get it, you know, a lot sooner, but we ordered Rapid Blue, which was one of the last colors to be produced. And obviously, with everything going on, that delayed the car even further. But that actually worked out perfectly because bought the Freedom Factory we had ordered the C8 far before the Freedom Factory stuff so I was pretty well spent I was, it was looking like I wasn't actually even gonna buy the car luckily the car got pushed so far back we were able to recoup some money during that time and be able to get the C8 so Justin uh, put in the order and everything like that and we've just been waiting ever since and I did have the chance to buy other C8s beforehand and I actually got one from Chevy and Justin bought it yeah, so, and it was kind of bittersweet because my C8 that I actually ordered came in with yours. And that, they yeah. were on the trailer together, and it's actually going to Florida. Oh, really? Y'all yeah. are driving it back to yeah. Florida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I was. So we have like it's a two. Be a road trip. <laughs> two thousand very, mile journey. Very comfortable cars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You'll, you'll like it. Yeah. yeah. Glad to hear. So Maddie did get to see the red. We had the one red one come to the house. I just don't she think was super it excited about it, and then uh, had to uh, sold it off. And now we got the blue one. Here we are. What's up? Ooh, on the lift. Is this the right one? That's the right one. <laughs> you got the blue one, right? Yeah, the blue one. The blue one. All right, we got to lower it down. It only came with two wheels. There's another C8 in the dealership up the road, and I stole them last night. Dang, unbelievable. Holy cow, man. The color is amazing. Hell yeah. All right, so guys, you'll notice a couple things. Already has tint on it. You won't notice the clear rock because you can't see it, but it's also ceramic coated, all of which Keith Allen, aka Stan Killer, got done for me before we got here. Oh my gosh, man, I love the color so much. It doesn't seem the same as when I first saw it when I went and uh, drove the C8 a while ago. It looks different in pictures. Dude, it looks so good. Let me see his interior. Ooh. That's not too much blue at all, man. That's perfect. Yeah. See I what I mean it. about the carbon fiber stuff? And yeah, man. Around the cluster. And then the Dude, back's so got the carbon sick. fiber uh, panel yep. package. Yes, and, sir. Uh, the engine light. Cool. Had to have it. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Rear engine. Man. 
I haven't seen a C8. I haven't really seen a C8 since uh, I drove them back in January. So this is exciting. She's finally here. Thanks for all the help, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maddie, what do you think of the color? I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. it looks so good. Okay, so guys, the reasons why you see the wheels are already off. Uh, we are doing, we're lowering the front of the car and uh, we're also putting some axles on it today. Yeah, we're just getting ready to start on the axles. Look at that. Oh, here they are. Hell yeah. So if you guys didn't already know this, C8s have been breaking axles at the drag strip already. So G-Force developed a set of C8 axles already. These are the same axles we run in Leroy, which is a seven second stick car. So I mean, those hold up really well, but these are developed for a C8 and uh, Justin took them off his car before he sold them. And he's giving them to us so that we can race in a no prep event at the ice cream cruise starting this weekend. Before we even have probably, I mean, I don't even think we'll get 500 miles on the car before the race starts. It'd be tough. There's only like 70 on it right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna slap some axles in it today though, because I don't want to break an axle right before Maddie and I have to drive back to Florida, which is 1,480 mile drive. So G-Force, shout out to them for already developing a set of C8 axles and then Justin hooking us up. So I'm so glad I waited for the blue. I know. Yeah, I loved the red, I loved the red, but uh, I'm glad. I stopped uh, up at the tent place, as I pulled in the parking lot, a guy was following me. Yeah. And he's like, that's the first blue one I've ever seen. Oh, it looks dude, so cool. It's so awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah, LT2 live. I am fired up. So guys, this has NPP exhaust too, so you can open and close the exhaust, make it louder or quieter for while we're cruising, which is really nice. Something I didn't get on the C7, but always regret it. Nice dark window tint. We also tinted the windshield slightly, but don't tell the police. One so thing I sick. want to point out, when we tinted the windows, I just tinted this window in here. Oh, you did? But I left this one non-tinted so that way you can see the Oh, engine. you know, I was wondering about that because yeah. when I drove the C8, I had a really bad glare coming through that back window. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to slap some axles in this thing, and then we'll back it out in the sun so we can really see it. But I am fired up. It really... Dude, it just looks so beautiful. This blue is amazing. At least you know all the tricks already. Yeah, I know. I've already <laughs> driven it a little bit, so I know the deal. So, guys, black trim package on everything. Had to do the painted mirrors, painted wing really into that and then just the black wheels but i already have a set of wheels at the shop so i'll show you guys those obviously when we get back in town i'm really excited about the interior i was not sure about the blue interior with the blue paint but it matches really well and there's not too much blue so you got the blue black the carbon fiber it all looks super nice and then you i don't know man i think this all came together really well but we really won't get to see its actual true colors until we get out in the sunlight so we gotta knock out some work on it, get these axles in the car, and then uh, pull it out in the sunlight and check it out. So this company, AAD, they make a lot of Hellcat suspension parts. Yeah. Their factory is actually like 10 minutes down the road. Okay. So they came out and measured these and they actually gave us some spanner wrenches. First set, you can buy them on their website now, but you got the basically just your lock down here and this up here. Yep. The only trick is you gotta, this spins with it. So you gotta spin it all together, but it definitely helps having the spanner wrenches. Yeah. So but you guys already moved it down an inch? Yeah, yeah, we, we already moved them all the way down. My God, dude. Yeah. Gotta lower it first thing. Gotta, right. gotta have it looking right. All right, so we're yanking the uh, heat shield off, then the axle bolts, then the axle nut. We're gonna drop the coil over, lower the back a little bit too, and uh, should be a pretty quick process. There you go, she's free. There she comes. Damn, and that's the easiest Just thing like possible on a C8, huh? Everything else they made really the difficult. Side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the other side's a little harder. Just gonna do the control arm. So these are identical, right? Identical length. Identical length axles, guys. So if you break one, doesn't matter. Yeah, they look pretty similar, but these are a lot yeah. stronger. So I'm not exactly sure where the C8 ones are breaking in uh, videos that I saw, but you can just tell these cups are more serious and. Uh, I'm sure this shaft is stronger too. All right guys, so the G-Force axle is in and uh, we knocked it out pretty quick. This is all the all the dirt on my hand from an axle swap on a 70 mile car. And I think all the dirt is from the axle being on Justin's car. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy. All right guys, and we're gonna pop these three nuts off to drop the strut down a little bit so we can put some tension, so we can take the tension off the spring with some spring compressors and then that'll actually allow us to lower, lower the spring.
Yeehaw. <laughs> Don't want to take that there axle nut off. Make sure that's for the right side. <laughs> All righty, folks. Side number two is complete. We just got to put the nuts on the top of the strut and then put this wheel on. All the other wheels are on. And finally, she'll be back on the ground and we can take it for a drive. Woo Fire me up. Get this piece of junk out here. Come on. Stupid C7. Hey. I got to get this C8 out. How <laughs> How's it feel your first time in Dude. the C8? Feels good, man. Sick. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, that's a color and a half right there. Yeah. Glad we waited for the blue, man. Like I said, that is so sick, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought going as low as we did, it'd be sitting a lot lower. 74 miles. Damn, it's still got the dang thing on it. Hell yeah. Woohoo. The satisfaction. 74 miles. Window sticker. Dude, GT2 bucket seat, y'all know the deal. What do you think? Well, I haven't totally driven or ridden. You gotta get, oh, you gotta get the drive gotta, experience, yeah, that's what you're saying. Wow. The Maddie driving experience. <laughs> Babe, look at this live action. You know, I'm really digging that seatbelt. Are you? It's flashy. I'm digging that you're digging them. <laughs> Ooh, AC seats. Here we go. Not a demo vehicle. What is this? This vehicle's in demo mode. Nice. Vehicle purchase. Get that thing out of demo mode. I like how Justin didn't do anything. <laughs> He's I like, you're going to set up everything. I love him. Didn't mess with anything. Shout out to Justin for being my boy and just picking this thing up, getting the windows tinted, getting the detail stuff done, getting me axles. And Maddie and his girlfriend are homies. Oh wow. my goodness. Here we go. I feel like just grabbing in my rib cage. Isn't that nice that you can yeah. adjust how much it squeezes you? So I'm obviously gonna have to be really careful. Wow. That would be that would be an ideal <laughs> I forgot you gotta push the brake in hard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> forgot. I'll show you how okay. to use that. <laughs> so I was worried about that because if we're gonna be freaking in a no prep race. Why don't you just do a couple circles, a couple laps? Well, we're gonna put like. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. Did all they say it's supposed to be? 
It's my girlfriend. All of that and more. <laughs> Alright guys, well there you have it. There is the CA. I guess we gotta come up with some names now. Thing drives so good, looks amazing. And the next day we'll put about 400 miles on it and then we've got about 1500 back to Florida. But uh, super excited and so much more to come with this car. We gotta come up with a good name. And we got some no prep racing to do this weekend which is hilarious and very fun. I'm excited to enter it into the no prep at the ice cream cruise. If you guys aren't going to the ice cream cruise race this weekend, it's Saturday and Sunday and 1320 video has an event page online. You should go on Facebook and find it. You can find all the details, the whole schedule for the ice cream cruise, or even check out 1320 videos, Instagram. You can find all the information you need there. Maddie and I will be there having fun, ripping the C8, putting some miles on this. We're going to roll race it, drag race it, just tear it up. Shout out to G-Force for the axles and Justin for uh, lending his shop and his time to go get this car and get some stuff done to it. Super excited, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.